there's no time to stop as people run for their lives. They pass bodies in the debris caused by exploding bombs. It's a race to get out of eastern Ghouta, to get out alive. The danger looms above. It approaches with the roar of a fighter jet. Evacuees at a shelter receive treatment for the first time. They sit in disbelief. They tell of their lives to any listening ear. I used to have houses and lands. I used to have everything. But now I have nothing at all. I left my wife and children behind me and came here. According to one monitoring group, nearly 1,200 civilians have been killed since the Syrian regime launched the Ghouta assault in February. It's a daily struggle. Tens of thousands of people are still trapped in Ghouta. Every day, more dead are buried. People like to bury their dead here, but they have become afraid of burying their dead in this cemetery because of the regime shelling during the burials. We started to bury the dead in the neighbouring vacant areas. I personally know more than 100 people killed in the last regime bombing campaign, including children. At the shelters, these faces reveal stories of war and loss. Now, having made it out of Eastern Ghouta alive, there is a glimmer of hope. Hope for their own survival and hope for their loved ones left behind. Melinda Nusifora, TRT World.